Hello and welcome to traders and investors. I'm glad to present you the daily market review prepared by analysts and experts from avax.cu portal. Here we go. Here's May 12, and we're starting from euro dollar pair with Jakub Novak as usual. First, let's have a look at 5 minute chart for analyzing yesterday's transactions. The test of 1.0940 happened with the MACD line was already far from zero, so the upward potential was limited. Sometime later, there was another test, but this time the MACD line was in an overbought area, so bears managed to adduce a price decrease of over 40 peeps. Euro fell on Tuesday after the US released its report on jobless claims and producer prices. The speech of FOMC member Christopher Waller also led to more demand for dollar and the weakness of the euro. Today, France, Italy will publish data on consumer prices, followed by a speech from ECB board member Joachim Nagel. This could bring back buying pressure in the market. Reports on consumer sentiment from the University of Michigan and inflation expectations in the US could also help euro rise. For long positions, buy euro when the level of 1.0933 is reached, and then take profit at the price of 1.0970. Growth will be seen, but it will only be an upward correction. Nevertheless, before buying, traders should make sure that the MACD line is above zero, or is starting to rise from it. Euro can also be bought after two consecutive price tests of 1.0915. But the MACD line should be in an oversold area. As only by that will the market reverse to 1.0933 and 1.0970. For short positions, Sell euro when the level of 1.0915 is reached, and take profit at the price of 1.0895. Pressure will return if there are strong US statistics. However, when selling, make sure that the MACD line is below zero, or is starting to move down from it. Euro can also be sold after two consecutive price tests of 1.0933, but the MACD line should be in the overbought area, as only by that will the market reverse to 1.0915 and 1.0895. The next stage in our review is the next major. Here is Patrick Kimovich with the GBB USD pair focused. Let's have a look. GBB USD has been trading downside after the yesterday's economic data in US, but we see the key support at the price of 1.2500. It's under test, and that there's a chance for the upside rejection. Due to the strong long time frame upside trend and test reject of the key support zone, Petar sees potential for the further growth towards upside references. Upside objective is set at the price of 1.2585. Stochastic oscillator is showing oversold condition and potential for the bull's cross, which is good sign for the rally. Key support is set at the price of 1.2500. Here is Dimitris Tapas with USD GPY pair focused. Early in the European session, the Japanese yen is trading around 134.57. Above the 21 SMA, 
at above the 6-8 mirror level. On the 4 hour chart, we can see that the USD GPY pair made a strong technical rebound from the low of 133.74 reached yesterday in the American session. If in the next few hours USD GPY consolidates above the daily pivot point located at 134.37, we could expect the instrument to continue its rise and it can reach the 200 EMA located at 134.82 and finally it could reach the strong resistance of 135.30. Investors believe that the Federal Reserve has reached its final rate hike and intends to complete the tightening cycle which is contributing to U.S. Treasury yield bonds losing their yield. Therefore, investors are taking refuge in the Japanese yen and gold. Since the beginning of May, the Japanese yen has been trading within a price range between 135.70 to 133.70. It's probable that if it consolidates above 134.37, 68 Murray level in the next few hours, it could continue to rise until it reached the 135.35 zone. Finally, it could reach 78 Murray at 135.93. On the contrary, with a sharp break and daily close below 134.37 daily pivot point, we could expect it to fall towards the key support of 133.90 and 133.74. The eagle indicator is given a positive signal. Hence, we can expect a technical bounce around 134.47, 21 SMA or 134.37 to buy with the targets at 135.35. And finally, here's Laurie Bailey with AUD USD pair focused. The AUD pair broke through a strong support in the area of 0.6730, the price level, and the MACD line on the daily chart, and fell sharply. The signal line of the Marlin oscillator has reached the zero line, but has not yet crossed it. If there is a reversal of these line, then the price may rebound to the upside as the pair has found the new support at the level of the February 27 and March 1 lows 0.6701 Next we expect the price to move towards the previous mentioned target levels of 0.6670 and 0.6628 on the 4-hour chart, the price has consolidated below the balance and MACD lines. Marlin Oscillator is in a negative territory. Only the Marlin Oscillator is trying to turn into correction. Maybe it will happen. The resistance is at the level of 0 0.6730. And that's all for today. See you online soon. Good luck.